Hello and welcome to another video tutorial by Comtips. Um, today I'll be doing the first part to my um, how to turn your PC into a Mac. Um, it's been requested quite a lot. Um, I've had a couple of messages about it. Um, um, I've had some comments about it on my uh, videos. I um, can't remember which ones they were but um, yeah if you look on them so today I'm going to show you how to do it um, first things um, you want a theme for your windows now you can either use um, a visual style or if you have window blinds you can use a window blind skin um, for, I'll do visual styles first for because that will probably be the um, most in demand um, because um, most people don't have window blinds. Um, this is the first one. Um, it's from DeviantArt.com, and as you can see, it's a really nice theme. Um, they've got Finder Bar installed there. You wouldn't actually get them on the um, on your theme, but it's. Um, just like an average um, visual style for Windows, but it um, looks like a Mac. It's um, a really good theme. Um, another one is um, Leopard 5, which is from uh, this person's blog. It's in Spanish, but you can tell where the download is. Um, scroll down, it'll give you a preview here. Um, you can expand that. You see, it's um, probably better than that other one. And um, just go back, just click on the download link here, or you could go to the DeviantArt page. And um, once you've downloaded these, um, because Leopard has transparent, there's this pr little program called Transbar, which just makes your start um, taskbar um, transparent. You can adjust the transparency and stuff like that. It's a um, really good um, piece of software, and it just gives you that um, little extra touch. I think that's the download link. Um, if you're not sure, you can go to a site like um, Babblefish. Doublefish.com. Let's go there. But um, shouldn't be too much of a problem. It's fairly obvious. Um, as you can see here, this is the preview of it. You can see that it's just made it um, a little transparent. You can see you can adjust it to how much you want. And um, yeah, it's um, really useful. So um, if you can't install these visual styles, you need this thing called UX Theme Patcher, and it's just a um, soft PD link that I'll be giving you the link for, and you just click on the download here, and then you can click either. It's probably best to go for. The, um, it doesn't really matter, but. Um, I just ch choose the US one. You'll come up with this. You save it, it downloads. It should download really quick. Extract it to the desktop or wherever you want to. Again. 
Alright, here we go. Um, work this time. All you do is you double click on it, and it'll come up with this. Um, it wants you to delete this folder. See, um, it shouldn't matter. Um, go to my computer double click on the IBM preload and then this is the folder here you can just delete that um, I'm not going to because I don't need to delete it but it doesn't affect your computer I've seen people who do it all the time and um, it doesn't affect the computer in any way and if it does you can um, just set a system restore point before you do delete it and you should be able to get it all back all it does is just edit some stuff in the registry I think um, so yeah once you've done that you should be able to just right click on your desktop go to properties go into your parents and go down to whatever you have installed now if we go back to here um, that's all the visual styles, if you have window blinds there's um, Tiger 2 which is um, it's pretty good but it's um, not a leopard theme it's a um, tiger so if you prefer the tiger layout you could get that one um, it's still pretty nice really clean theme but the one that I was using was leopard glass um, Yeah, this is the one. Expand the image. You can see here, this is what I had. It's really nice. And um, again, a really clean theme for your windows, but you have to have window blinds for it. So you just click on the download link on the side here, download it, and um, open it with window blinds. It should automatically load it. Right, so um, once you've got that in, that's the themes done. There's um, also a theme you can download for MSN. Um, first, you'll need MSN Plus, and um, I will be providing all the links to all these different web for you. you. Just take you to this link here, and you just click on download. I think. All right. Um, well, yeah, my internet's just crashed, but if you go to this link here um, I'll carry on from this point when I get my internet back working again um, but yeah you can just download it from this link here and um, it'll just come up as a extra thing and um, you can download it and install it and then um, I'll show you the theme after ok um, see you um, probably in a couple of minutes if you've got both if I've got both videos up.